All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another rugby video. Today's video I'm really excited to bring you. I've, uh, I've used it in the game recently, and also, you know, I've seen it in, in a few highlight videos, and it's a step that I didn't know how to explain originally. I, I tried to call it a hop step, but then I included a bang, bang, bang at the end of it in my previous video. So today we're gonna call it the skip step. All right, and that's all it is. It's a one, it's one step. It's a skip in the air. The reality is, is that depending on what kind of player you are, depending on what sort of step repertoire you have, this can be extremely effective and you don't even need to move very much in the air. So with that said, let's get into it. Let's roll the intro and I'll see you in a minute. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. All right, so before I do go on, I, I want to show you a quick example from three different players, all right? The skip step, in my opinion, is when you're running, you know, one-on-one -on -one with a defender. This is not a, a move to include anyone else. This is a one-on-one -on -one move. You and the fullback, basically. Let's say you've broken the line, you're through. No one else is going to catch you. It's just you and the fullback, all right? It's you and the fullback. You see the try line behind him. You're like, what the hell am I going to do? Well, you're probably running at full pace already. You don't want to slow down. That's the thing about this step. You don't lose any pace when you're doing it. You change direction, but you don't lose any pace. And that is why it is so, so hard to tackle. So with that said, the first example I'm going to show you is a guy that plays rugby league for the Warriors and for the New Zealand Kiwis. His name is Sean Johnson. Let's have a look at his skip step. Who electrified the large crowd with what was arguably the finest solo try of 2011. And Johnson steps straight through, support on the inside. Alright, so the second example, we're going to go to Rugby Union now. The Chiefs, Tim Nanai Williams. Let's have a look at his example of the skip step. Clash at halfback tonight, two outstanding young number nines. But it's nine mm, offside. Look at the way Aaron Smith, the fact he was offside, and here's a chance for Tim Nanai Williams. I've guessed him. of the scrum. Nonu rushes up. That's poor defence from Nonu and Burley. The so look at that goose step. Campisi style would be proud. And he gets his Ben Smith on the outside. Sensational finish. All right, and number three, an absolute legend. This move, this step was done 13 years ago now, in 2005. If you don't know who I'm talking about, his name is Benji Marshall. This is for the West Tigers in the NRL in 2005. And this was his example of the skip step. Runs across with Hodgson. Now they're going to go a little wider. Prince ball back for Marshall. The footwork, the footwork. Benji Marshall, now the speed. The footwork again. Small snippet of play, you have seen what this kid is about. Bang, step, another step. Okay, it's against back rowers, but now he puts the foot down. He made the right decision, it'll look fantastic from front on. Just watch the, the ability of this kid, the movement, the exuberance in his play. Something out of nothing, and probably a, a snippet that'll win the football game for his football team. All right, so as you can see, this step, is, is basically used, like I said, when you break the line, it's you and the fullback, what are you going to do? It, you know, the, the reason it's so effective is the fact that the players that are doing it are extremely good steppers, you know, they can jump in the air and, and bust something out of nothing. So, you know, when they do the skip step, like it's literally, as you guys know, you're basically, you're going you're gonna to decide 
which way you're going to swerve. It's basically a swerve in the air. So if I'm going to swerve to the left of the defender, to my right, I'm going to jump off my outside foot, I'm going to jump off my right foot, one in the air, and then as this foot comes down, my left foot, that's going to sort of swerve me slightly to the right. I'd say by about a foot, maybe two feet. So it's going to look something like this. Okay? So it's a hop in the air. As you hop in the air, that split second completely fools the defender. If you can bust out a right foot step and the defender knows that, when you jump in the air, he, he, he basically thinks you're going to do that. So he's going to stutter. What that means is that you take all power out of his tackle or his attempt to tackle. So, you know, these guys, these defenders might still get a hand on you, but it's not going to be anywhere near as effective as if you didn't do that little skip step beforehand. So with that said, if I was going to step to my left around the defender's right shoulder, I'd use my outside leg, jump off my outside leg, come down with my inside leg and swerve slightly to the left. So it'd be something like this. And it looks like we've got company, which is all good, because we're living in Alice Springs. So I don't really know how much more I can, I can tell you about this step, other than just get out there and practice. I mean, at full pace, if you do, like, I mean, just, just watch the, the, the examples that I showed you at the start. I mean, at full pace, this is an amazing move. I, I, I just want to say, good luck out there. But once again, if I'm going to swerve to the right, I would come off my right foot, slam down my left, and swerve to the swerve to the right. If I was going to swerve to the left, I'd come off my left foot, slam the right foot down, and swerve to the left. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now. But yeah, if I'm going to show you again, this is to the right. Okay, it's obviously not full pace, but it's, it's literally just one hop in the air. You choose a direction and go for it. Once again, if I'm going to go to the left, <laughs> and that is pretty much it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed. It's another step to add to your repertoire. We've probably got like, I don't know man, 10, 12 different side steps on my channel now. So uh, I want to say good luck, I want to say kill it out there. I want to say if you're uh, playing this Saturday, you know, and you use this step, let me know about it. In the meantime, we'll get back to the drawing board and I'll be back here with another rugby video very soon. Peace.